Hey everyone, and welcome back. You ready to deep dive with us again? Today, it's Nicole Kidman's new film, Baby Girl. And you know, we've got this article here with all the juicy details. Oh yeah. And let me tell you, this is shaping up to be a lot more than just your typical Hollywood romance. Mm -hmm. We're talking erotic drama age gaps. Okay. Yeah. And Kidman at 57 pushing boundaries like never before. Right. I mean, what is it about this film that has everyone buzzing? Like, is Baby Girl going to change how Hollywood sees women and desire on screen? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, let's unpack this a bit. Kidman taking on this role at 57, playing a powerful CEO caught in a passionate affair with a much younger intern. Yeah. And I, I got to say, that premise alone has definitely grabbed my attention. Right. It's a story we think we know, but I have a feeling this film is going to flip the script. Totally. The article hints at some seriously complex themes. Uh -huh. We're talking power dynamics, vulnerability, and the complexities of desire. Yeah. I mean, are they trying to redefine how we see older women and younger men in relationships, mm -hmm. especially in Hollywood? Yeah, exactly. Especially in Hollywood. We've seen these types of stories before. But I think Baby Girl is going to approach it in a way that really makes us question our assumptions. I hope so. You know, one thing that really jumped out at me in this article was Kidman's comment about experiencing orgasm burnout during filming. Ah. I mean, talk about a behind the scenes reveal. Oh yeah, that's a quote that's making the rounds for sure. And you know, on the surface, it's funny, but it also makes you think about the toll these kinds of roles can take on actors. Exactly, yeah. the emotional intensity, the physical demands. I mean, it's yeah. gotta be a lot. Yeah, it's a good reminder that even though we see the glamour and the finished product, there's a whole lot of work and real human experience that goes into making these films. Absolutely. And speaking of real human experience, the article also talks about how Kidman really emphasized boundaries, safety, and trust on set. Yeah, seems like she was very vocal about that. Yeah, she even mentioned frustration coming up at times. So it sounds like filming those intimate scenes was a roller coaster of emotions. Makes you wonder what those conversations on set were like. What kind of boundaries were they negotiating? What were those points of friction? Right, and how did they ultimately find that balance between pushing boundaries and creating a safe and respectful environment. And don't forget, the director is a big piece of this puzzle, too. Oh, yeah. He's got a pretty unique visual style. Absolutely. The article talked about his use of shadow and light to build tension and intimacy. I love that. Really makes you wonder how he's going to translate that style to baby girl and highlight the power dynamics between Kidman's character and the intern. It's like he's painting a picture with light and shadow and using it to tell a story. We, we haven't even touched on the erotic drama aspect yet. Oh, right. The trailer alone is electric. Yeah. I mean, you can feel gonna... the tension, the forbidden desire. For sure. It's definitely setting the stage for a very passionate and maybe even a little dangerous relationship. And you know what? I was just scratching the surface here. There's so much more to uncover. Baby Girl is hitting theaters on Christmas Day, and I have a feeling it's going to be the talk of the town. I can't wait. Yeah. I'm so curious to see how critics and audiences react to the firm's exploration of mature female sexuality. Yeah, it's a bold move for Kidman, especially at this point in her career. Totally. She's always been someone who pushes boundaries and challenges herself as an actor. I have a feeling Baby Girl is going to be another defining role for her. And think about this. Kidman is a wife and a mother in real life. Right. How do you think those personal experiences might influence her portrayal of Romy, a woman juggling ambition and a passionate affair? Mm. That's a great question. I bet it brings a whole new level of depth and authenticity to her performance. Absolutely. It's not just acting. It's real life informing art. This is getting really interesting. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a boundary pushing film, a talented actress, and a director with a distinct visual style. Yeah. And we can't forget the buzz around this film. Yeah. It's like everyone's waiting with bated breath to see if Baby Girl will be a turning point for Hollywood. Will it change the way we see women and desire on screen? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Exactly. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. But I have a feeling this film is going to spark some much needed conversations. Me too. Yeah. Stay with us because in part two, we're going to dive even deeper into Baby Girl and explore the potential impact it could have on the film industry. It's going to be good. So you know that Christmas Day release date? Mm -hmm. It's almost like they're saying, go ahead, talk about this movie with your family after dinner. Oh, yeah, for sure. They're yeah. like, here's a film that's going to make you think. Now go discuss it. Right. And speaking of things that make you think, let's talk about that age gap between Romy and the intern. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a pretty big elephant in the room. It is. Especially considering societal views on relationships like this. Yeah. You know, it really makes you wonder how Baby Girl is going to navigate that whole 
age difference thing. Especially with a woman as the older partner. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's like they're taking this age gap and using it to explore all these deeper issues. Yeah, like power dynamics, societal expectations, yeah. and how those things intersect with relationships. And we can't forget this is all happening in the wake of the Me Too movement. Oh, totally. Which has really brought the whole conversation about power dynamics to the forefront. Absolutely. So we're not just talking about a forbidden romance here. Right. We're talking about navigating those blurry lines between desire, power, and consent. Exactly. Yeah. It adds this whole other layer of complexity. Definitely. And it seems like Kidman was drawn to that complexity. Mm -hmm. I mean, the article even mentioned that she specifically sought out this role because she wanted to delve into those issues. Yeah, she's not afraid to tackle tough topics. Nope, not at all. I have a feeling her performance is going to spark some much-needed conversations. Oh, for sure. You know, I, I keep thinking back to that part in the article where Kidman mentions feeling frustration during filming. Yeah, I remember that. I wonder if that's connected to the challenges of portraying those power dynamics and that age difference. You know? Oh, absolutely. And we've got to remember who's directing this thing. Oh, yeah. This is someone who knows how to use visuals to tell a story. Mm -hmm. Remember what the article said about his use of light and shadow? Yeah, to create tension and intimacy. Exactly. Now imagine how he might use those techniques in Baby Girl, like a dimly lit office scene Whoa. with shadows obscuring faces, okay. creating this sense of mystery and ambiguity. I love that, I mean, the visuals alone can say so much about the characters' relationships. Totally. It's like the cinematography becomes a language of its own. And speaking of visual language, what about the color palette? Ooh, good point. Do you think it'll be warm and passionate? Or maybe more cool and subdued, reflecting the complex emotions? Yeah, like will the colors mirror the characters' inner turmoil? Hmm. And the music, too. Yeah. What kind of vibe do you think they'll go for? Well, I'm imagining a score that really underscores the emotional weight of the story. Yeah. You know, something that draws you in, mm -hmm. maybe even a little haunting at times. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like in that scene where Romy and the intern first lock eyes. Yeah, imagine this subtle but intense melody building the tension. <laughs> Chills. Making their connection feel almost electric. Music can totally do that. Absolutely. It's like it adds a whole other dimension to the storytelling. And let's not forget the editing. Oh, right. I mean, a good editor can really make or break a film. Totally. They can control the pace, oh, the yeah. flow. Yeah, they can build suspense, mm -hmm. create intimacy, mm -hmm. even highlight those moments of conflict. It's like they're shaping the emotional journey for the audience. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Think about how they might use slow motion oh, yeah. to emphasize a touch or a look or maybe even jump cuts okay. to show the turmoil Romy's feeling inside. So all these technical elements come together uh -huh. to create the film's overall atmosphere, right? Totally, like the tone, the mood, the feeling you're left with. Exactly. And for a movie like Baby Girl, mm -hmm. with all its intensity and complexity, creating that immersive atmosphere is going to be key. Oh, for sure. But, you know, at the end of the day, yeah. this is a story about human connection. It's yeah. about desire, ambition, and the choices we make when faced with temptation. Exactly. And even with all the visual flair and potential for spectacle, mm -hmm. I think Baby Girl is going to stay grounded in those raw human emotions. Totally. It's those moments that are going to connect with audiences. Because yeah, the technical stuff just amplifies those emotions. Exactly. It makes them even more powerful. Mm. It's a tricky balance to strike. It is. But when it's done right, yeah. it's magic. Pure movie magic. And I'm really curious to see how the filmmakers handle it in Baby Girl, you know, balancing those grand visuals with the intimate character moments. Right, and that erotic charge with the emotional depth. It's going to be interesting for sure. We've covered a lot in this deep dive. We have. The story, the characters, the director's vision, mm -hmm. even all the technical stuff that goes into making a movie. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm even more excited to see Baby Girl now. Me too. It sounds like a film that's going to entertain us, make us think, mm -hmm. and maybe even challenge our perspectives a bit. And that's what great movies do. Absolutely. They stay with you. They make you think differently about the world. Okay, so for all of you listening out there, yeah, go see Baby Girl, and then come back and tell us what you thought. Yeah. Did it live up to the hype? Did it make you question things? Did you have any interesting conversations about it? We want to hear all about it. And until then, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep with us. All right, so we've talked about the story, the actors, the director. But you know what else I'm really curious about? What's that? All the behind-the-scenes stuff. Okay. The movie Magic, 
you know, the technical elements that really bring a film to life. Oh, absolutely. It's yeah. like all the ingredients coming together, you know, to create something special. Exactly. You can have the best actors and a great story, but if you don't have the right look, the right feel, mm -hmm. it just won't be the same. Yeah, it's all about the execution. So let's talk about cinematography. I mm -hmm. mean, this director is known for having a really distinct style. Yeah, he's got that signature look. And the article even mentioned his use of light and shadow to create tension. Oh, right. Like, I bet he'll use that in those office scenes with Romy and the intern. Oh, yeah. Imagine this dimly lit office oh, late at night. Mm -hmm. Just a single desk lamp casting these long shadows across their faces. Oh, they could see it. You know, so you can't really read their expressions. Yeah. Adding to that mystery and that tension. It's like the lighting is telling its own story. Exactly. And what about the color palette? Ooh, yeah, good point. Will it be warm and passionate? Hmm. Or maybe cooler and more subdued. Right. Reflecting the complex emotions they're going through. Yeah. Like, do the colors mirror the character's inner turmoil? And the music, too. What kind of score are we thinking? Oh, I bet it'll be something that really amplifies the emotional impact of the scenes. Yeah. Like, imagine Romy and the intern sharing a look across a crowded room. Okay. And there's this subtle melody playing in the background, mm -hmm. building that anticipation and tension. Oh, I love that. It's like the music is giving voice to their unspoken desires. You know, music can really make or break a scene. Totally. It sets the mood. Yeah. And speaking of shaping the experience, mm -hmm. we can't forget about the editing. Oh, the editing is crucial. I mean, a good editor can really control how the audience feels. Absolutely. They can speed things up, slow things down, yeah. create a sense of urgency or intimacy. Right. It's like they're guiding us through the story. Exactly. And for a film like Baby Girl with all its twists and turns, uh -huh. the editing is going to be super important. Yeah. I wonder if they'll use a lot of slow motion. Oh, yeah. To draw out those key moments. Or maybe quick cuts. Okay. To show the chaos and confusion that Romy might be feeling. So it's like all these technical elements, the lighting, the music, the oh, editing. Yeah. yeah, they all work together. To create the overall atmosphere of the film. Right, that feeling that stays with you even after it's over. And for a movie like Baby Girl, which is so emotionally charged. Yeah. Creating that immersive world is going to be key. It'll really pull the audience in. You know what's funny? We've been talking about all this technical stuff, mm -hmm. but at its heart, Baby Girl is still a very human story. Oh, totally. It's about real people making real choices. It's about desire and temptation and ambition. Exactly. And even with all the visual spectacle, yeah, I think those raw human moments are what will resonate most with audiences. Absolutely. It's those relatable experiences that stay with you. And the technical elements just help to enhance those moments. Right. They make them even more powerful. So it's a delicate balance. It is. Between the technical and the emotional. Well, I think we've covered just about everything there is to cover on Baby Girl, at least for now. We've analyzed it from every angle. The story, the actors, mm -hmm. the directing, the technical aspects. I mean, I'm so ready to see this movie now. Me too. I think it has the potential to be really special. Yeah, like both entertaining and thought-provoking. Right, a film that you can enjoy on multiple levels. So to everyone listening, be sure to check out Baby Girl when it hit theaters and let us know what you think. Yeah, come back and tell us all about it. Did it live up to the hype? Did it spark any interesting conversations? We want to hear your thoughts. Absolutely. And until next time, keep exploring. Keep questioning and keep diving deep with us. See you next time.